It is a couple of hours, not even a couple of hours, an hour and 40 minutes after the game has finished. Um, for some reason, the Premier League blocked my video worldwide, um, possibly due to the thumbnail that I selected, which was off of the Arsenal Twitter page at full time, which is something I've done for months now. Um, but yeah, they blocked it worldwide. So apologies for those that have already watched this video. <laughs> Um, but here it is again. Um, feel free to just come off the video now. Um, for those that haven't, here's my review of the game. So we have just dropped another two points away to West Ham United in a game that we have seen a million times before under Arsene Wenger. Boring, predictable, sideways, boring, backwards, sideways, backwards, sideways, sideways, backwards. Fuck's sake, how many more years of this shit have we got to encounter? Seriously, it is unbelievable. When I seen the starting 11, I was like, what the fuck? Really? You're dropping Lacazette? Okay, fair enough. But you're keeping Sanchez in the team? You're keeping Xhaka in the team? You're, you're dropping Kalasanak and playing Maitland-Niles at left wing back? Like, really? Come on, man. Unbelievable. Um, you know, let's be real. They should have won it at the death. And yes, we dominated possession. Yes, we dominated passes completed because people fucking love that stat. Um, final third passes completed. Yeah, key part. Fuck off, man. Watch the game again. They should have won that game. We did fuck all, literally. Their goalkeeper made a couple of saves here and there. Nothing like like we were scrambling around our fucking box every time it came in it. Petr Cech, yeah, he got away with one. Yes, Anatovic pushed Koscielny into him. But why is he flapping like fucking idiot? Bellerin can't cross a ball to save his life. Can't defend. Um, what does he actually offer the team? All he's got is pace. That is it. Every time he gets down the wing, he stops and he comes backwards or sideways. Then when he does actually get down the wing and try and whip a ball in, it's never first time. He always takes a touch and then it hits the first man. Then it's rinse and fucking repeat. It is so boring and fucking predictable. Yeah, and it's getting right on my fucking wig now. I am sick of this shit. When are people going to stop making excuses and actually wake the fuck up and realise that this is Arsene Wenger's doing. You can blame that we can't compete, we can't do this, whatever, okay? Let's have a look at it logically. Arsene Wenger's on 10 million pound a year, so he's competing. His wages are what, top five in the world? So he's competing. Apparently, we bid 92 million quid for Lamar. The amount of people that believe that one. So, we're competing. We've apparently offered Mesut Ozil, 300 grand a week. Well, again, competing. Come on, do the maths here. If we actually pay Ozil 300 grand a week, all in all, if that goes on a four-year contract, all in all with the transfer fee and the contract he's already got that's about to expire, that total transfer would have cost 153 million pounds. And we can't compete, apparently. Okay. Anyway, I want to talk about Koscielny. Monumental fuck up yet again, which resulted in them hitting the underside of the bar and they should have nicked the points. When are people going to wake up and realise that this guy is just not what we want at this club? He's an average footballer, okay? He has the odd great performance and gets labelled cause the boss. Nah, what's he bossing? What is he actually bossing? Because he ain't bossing a defence, our defence is a shambles. Absolute shambles. You've got Callum Chambers and Rob Holding, who are the future of this football club. Yeah, both sat on the bench, can't get a game. We're playing Monreal at centre-back, 
when we've got two young kids on the bench that are applying their trade and trying to get into a team and trying to become the seasoned pro. But instead, we go with a left-back at centre-back, and I'm not knocking Monreal because I think he's been good this season, but I'm knocking the logic. And then you're going with a 32-year-old who's got a monumental, world-class fuck-up in him every single fucking game he plays. And again, tonight, he nearly cost us the points. Now, another one I want to move on to is Granit Xhaka. Shocked he was in the starting 11 tonight. In fact, I actually can't believe he ain't dropped. Literally. Like, what has this guy got to do to get dropped from the team? And then when you look at other players that, like Wilshere, and I thought Wilshere was, along with Maitland-Niles, probably the only shining lights for, from tonight. Maitland-Niles, obviously, on his debut, out of position, not a, uh, not a left wing back. He's a centre midfielder. But I thought he'd done well. And Jack Wilshere was head and shoulders above anyone. I thought Ozil tried. Um, I thought Sanchez was a bit better. Get, kept giving the ball away, but he was still better. Um, Olivier Giroud didn't really have much to go on. Because every time we got the ball down the wing, we stopped and passed sideways. And there was a few moments in that game where Giroud was just looking like, get the ball in, what am I doing here? And this has been the same old shit for years. It's a myth that we play good football. We don't. I said it the other day, we're the easiest team to play against. So predictable. All you've got to do is park the bus and we ain't, going, we ain't going down the wings and whipping balls in. We'll try and pass through, yeah? And that is so easy to defend against. But what the fuck do I know? All I get told is you're negative. Oh, you're fucking moaning all the time. Yeah, I am moaning. I ain't negative. I'm fucking realistic. And when people wake up and actually get on my level and actually see that only one man is holding us back here, and that is Arsene fucking Wenger. The quicker he goes, the quicker the mentality in the club changes, and the quicker we start getting further up that table. Until then, we're stuck with this shit. So what do we do? Do we just sit here and go, oh, okay, let's just accept this boring shit? We are now 19 points behind Man City. 19. We have dropped 18 points away from home this season. And I've said all season, we're going to get bantered off away from home. And so far, I am being proved right. Take out the goals we scored against Everton away. We've scored four goals away in nearly 400 minutes of football. That's a joke. It's a fucking disgrace. We're Arsenal Football Club. We've got Lacazette. We've got Giroud. We've got Ozil. We've got Sanchez. Four goals in nearly 400 minutes, if you take Everton out of the equation. Unbelievable. But, there we fucking go. I expect it now, every single week away from home when we go away, I expect us to just sit there and do that. Even at home, we're so predictable. We're so easy to get at. Our defence is non-existent. We got pulled apart by Marco fucking and out of it. Come on, man. Really? And out of it. We made the cunt look like fucking messy at times in that game. Unreal. Anyway, subscribe, bang the notifications on, fucking punch the fuck out the like button, and leave your comments down below. I'm past giving a toss right at this minute, so there we go. Anyway, you can also follow my Twitter, LeeGunner82, and my Instagram, LeeGunner82. I'm out of here. Laters. Mm -hmm.